Szóval, hölgyem és uram, tessenek készíteni a kamerákat, életre szóló élményre számítunk most az új zélandiaktól a mérkőzés előtt. Nem mondom el, hogy mi az újak számára, akik itt voltak, tudják, hogy milyen előadás következik a bemelegítés után. És szerintem önöknek nagyon tetszeni fog, hatalmas tapsal fogjuk díjazni azt, amit az új zélandi rögbisektől már láttunk. De most a fiútól is fogjuk látni. Fantasztikus mindkét együttes, és egy fantasztikus döntőt várunk. Everybody's getting ready here for the big game, uh, men's final, FIBA three on three world championships, uh, under 18 category in Debrecen. The night has fallen over the city and everybody's watching here the final game. Let's see who's gonna win it, but first, Let's respect the Hakka dance. And now for the final of the contest, Argentina against New Zealand. New Zealand. So this is uh, for what every player trains hard every day. This is the game that matters the most, the gold medal game. Let's see who's going to win it, Argentina or New Zealand. Game already started and uh, New Zealand now inside. Wynyard, uh, Ty Wynyard uh, with the first uh, basket. Fernandez inside, excellent penetration and it's one all. Fernandez, one of the best players in this tournament. No basket. And uh, the foul called against uh, number eight, Matthew Freeman. Number eight, Christian Boudet. 
correction, of course. McCulloch now, and what a block by Fernandez. Martin Ariel uh, Fernandez with a huge block. One all. Freeman now inside for Wineyard. Wineyard, uh, short sky hook, excellent defense there, and the foul is called against uh, Argentine. They already have two team fouls in the first minute of the game. Wineyard going to the line to earn uh, his point. One free throw. Offensive rebound by Freeman, but he cannot score there. Quercetti now. Inside for Boudet. And uh, one free throw after the foul called against McCulloch. Nico McCulloch. Uh, Boudet now at the free throw line. Weinard inside, and Fernandez manages to defend good there. But Weinard comes back with the block on this uh, two-point attempt. Freeman inside, scores, and it's 2-0 now. Fernandez. Fernandez tries their crossover, but Weinard uh, has uh, his long legs and defended very well. The fundamental position, Weinert scoring uh, a soft jump shot. Kersetti now inside for Boudet. Boudet, and he was fouled there. Both teams uh, with two fouls. Very tough game so far. Christian Boudet with a free throw, and he makes it. It's now 3-all. McCulloch, jump shot, uh, a little bit too long, and Fernandez has the ball now. Boudet trying to post up there, finds Quercetti for the two-pointer short, and Fernandez gets the rebound. Nice fake, Fernandez, excellent pass, but what a block there by Timmins. Sam Timmins, switch off the light there. Seven minutes and a half. New Zealand uh, so far didn't play at all with uh, their Two tall players in the same time. Team is now. The foul is called against Bode. Very difficult uh, game for the referees as uh, both teams uh, they are playing very physical game and. Uh, of course, uh, they want so much uh, to win. 4-3 now for New Zealand. Fernandez inside. Bode now. Good crossover. He finds a way to score. Excellent slasher, this Bode. For all with seven minutes and 11 seconds to go. Spaniolo now entered uh, the game. Fernandez, two pointer. Spaniolo with the rebound, and it's 5 4 for the Argentinians. Freeman now, McCulloch, two pointer, not good. And uh, Fernandez gets the rebound inside, strong move. Spanuolo get the rebound, Bode now. Very good rhythm of the game, Fernandez. Excellent penetration from Fernandez. So it's 6-4 for the Argentine team. Spanuolo, Fernandez, two-pointer, he scores! He's on fire! 
eight to four for New Zealand. Team is now almost a block shot there by uh, Fernandez. He was called for a foul. We can see now uh, the earlier penetration from Fernandez and then this huge two pointer. It's eight to four for the Argentinian, the biggest lead of the game for the South Americans. Span Wolo now inside. Excellent uh, penetration. Nine to five. Freeman trying from beyond the arc, but he couldn't score. And uh, the Argentinians will have the ball. This is a rematch. Uh, this is a game between the winners uh, of the 2011 edition of the championships, New Zealand and 2013 winners, Argentine. Winers, a foul is called. The basket is good and the possible two point play for uh, Ty Wainyard. Nine seven for Argentina. Uh, now New Zealand uh, with her twin towers uh, on the court. Let's see what the Argentinians can do. Fernandez, but then now three po three seconds, two seconds, one second, and he scores at the buzzer. Excellent penetration by Baudet. Wainyard, the jump shot. He has a soft hand from middle range. Very active, uh, Wainyard, and a clear block shot. Spanwolo, and the shot clock expires. It's 10-8 uh, for Argentinians. Uh, we are at the half of the game. This is the jump shot of Wainyard, and then the block shot. He came from behind. Fernandez fighting hard with Wainyard. Wainyard inside. He scores easily. 10 to 9. Fernandez now. Excellent fake. Excellent fake by Fernandez. With two giants uh, on his back. He tricked both of them and he managed to score. Timmins now steps beyond the line, turn around, three pointer. Wainyard with the rebound inside. And a foul is called against Fernandez. And Argentine, they already have six team fouls, so they are in the penalty now. They are now in the penalty. So every foul from now on will mean two free throws for the New Zealand. Every foul committed by the Argentinians, of course. New Zealand only three team fouls. Panuolo. Panuolo, but then now with a two pointer. He cannot score there. To Squarsetti. With the two pointer a little bit earlier on. Wainia there, uh, managing to score after all. Quercetti now, only one point advantage, a foul call against McCulloch. New Zealand now with 14 fouls. Quercetti with the jump shot, an air ball there. New Zealand with the ball inside for Wynyard. Baby Skyhook, but uh, couldn't score. Fernandez. Spaniolo and the foul is called against McCulloch. So New Zealand now with fifth team foul. 
They are closing also uh, the penalty. Here is the replay with the foul. 11 10 for Argentina with six fouls and five fouls of the two teams. Twelve to ten for the Argentinian team. Freeman four two air ball. Three minutes and thirty nine seconds uh, from this game. The tension is in the air. Spanuolo, Fernandez now, ball there, there, but he's blocked at the buzzer, Spanuolo, he scores, unbelievable shot by Spanuolo, 14 to 10, Freeman now, two-pointer, 14 to 12, New Zealand, uh, they don't give up, of course. Three minutes to go, Fernandez, three seconds. Long two-point shot, uh, not good. Way off the target. We are preparing to enter uh, the final three minutes of the game. 14 to 12 for Argentine. Freeman, 4-2, it's good, 14-0. With two three pointer, with two two pointers, uh, Freeman put Argentine back in the game. Spanuolo. Another two pointer! Unbelievable! Freeman! New Zealand is leading 16 to 14 with 2 minutes and 34 seconds to go. Argentina called a timeout right now. Freeman was unbelievable, scoring three two pointers in a row. So from 14 to 10 for Argentina, now it's 16 14. This is how fast the game can change uh, in a three on three basketball. So dynamic, so spectacular. Freeman now, Bote, McCulloch 4 2, he scores! He's raining with two pointers. Uh, New Zealand up by four. Two minutes to go. Spanwolo couldn't score. Wine out now inside. The New Zealand is leading 19 14 and a foul called against Wineyard. The 16th foul, also New Zealand is now in the penalty. If New Zealand will play smart basketball, they cannot escape this game from uh, their hands. Unbelievable uh, series of uh, two-pointers. Fernandez, excellent penetration. 19-15, McCulloch, Freeman for the win. Not good. 150. So, of course, uh, they need size. New Zealand needs size. So, Timmins enters the game. Spanuolo, Fernandez. Fernandez, nice pass for Bote. Excellent game, 19 16. Let's see how uh, Argentine will defend. Spanuolo with the steal. Fernandez now. Fernandez, Panwolo, two pointer. Oh, in and out. Bad luck uh, for uh, Argentine. And uh, Timmins, uh, I think the ball could have went win, but Timmins uh, put it out. Timmins inside now. He scores 20 to 16. One minute to go. New Zealand needs only one more point. Fernandez inside. Oh, what a block shot on the slam dunk by Weinert. Unbelievable block. And uh, 
Fernandez gets the ball. The game is not over. 50 seconds, 20 to 16. Spagnolo inside. He cannot score. Timmins has the rebound. Unbelievable game so far. Freeman for the win. Not good. Fernandez. Two pointer by Fernandez. He scores 20 to 18. Can the Argentinians come back in the game? Let's see. Wynard. Wynard inside for the win. Not good. And it's uh, Argentinian ball with 23 seconds to go. As I was saying, if New Zealand uh, would have played smart basketball, they couldn't have won easily. But uh, they made some mistakes uh, during this uh, final minute. And now their lead is only up two points with 23 seconds uh, from this game. Pressure now on New Zealand, of course, uh, because uh, Argentinians uh, are coming from behind. They had a four-point lead. They led 14 to 10. New Zealand came back uh, behind uh, two pointers and they led 18-14 and then 20 to 16. Spanuolo, Spanuolo, Fernandez asking for the ball. Fernandez clear two pointer. Not good. New Zealand now, nine seconds. One second differential between the game time and the shot clock. Three, two, one for the win. Not good. And the game is over. New Zealand. No, it was a shot clock. No, the game is over. The game is over. I thought it was a shot clock violation. But no, the game is over. So New Zealand won the title. They won it also in uh, 2011. And they came back now again for the gold medal. But what a game it was here in Debrecen. We had some unbelievable finals, both in men and women competition. What a way to finish uh, this great week here in Debrecen uh, for the FIBA 3-on-3 Under-18 uh, Championships.